Well, my name's Leo Parker. I've been here all my life, or one of the flood wardens for the Quambadook area at the Gunnawarra Shire. And my first experience was through my farm because a third of my farm is flood prone and every second year we get a flood. Some years we have up to six or seven floods a year, but we haven't got a reservoir up the top like most rivers have. If you get two or three inches up in the catchment, we get a flood. And there's no reservoirs to hold it back. It's been happening all my lifetime and it'll, it'll keep on happening. So we just got to be prepared and I think we are. If we get an eight metre flood at Charlton, we'll get about a, a two and a half metre flood at Quamadook. It just reduces as it comes. A few locals thought it was going, going to be as bad as 2011. We had to convince them that it wasn't going to be as bad. Even if it was another 2011, the Shire have constructed a levee on the west side of the river that'll protect the town in future, so we don't have to worry in Quamadook anymore. Well, on the west side of the river, we're prepared to lose crop in the floodways because that's the risk we take. This year, it was totally different to 2011. The community you know, didn't have to get involved, except we made sure that everybody knew what was going to happen. They used to come down and check the river to make sure we knew what we're talking about. There is monitors all the way along the river. There's one at Charlton and there's one out 10 kilometres south of Quamadook that people can go on the internet and they can see the actual river height, whether it's rising or dropping. And the Shire support us. We're ringing us up to see how, how we're going, but I kept telling them that we were, we were safe and they had enough to concentrate on and crang. Um, so, Leo, why do you love living in Quamadook? Well, it's, <laughs> people ask me, <laughs> people ask me that, why do I farm? <laughs> Probably because I don't know any better. No, it's a community spirit. It's, if a farmer gets injured, well, there's always somebody prepared to help you out, make sure you, you get your crop sown or your crop harvested. So, fantastic little community, even though it's slowly, slowly disappearing. But no, it's just a, a lovely place to live, and why wouldn't you want to live here? Well, how I was feeling about the other towns, well, there's people out at Anjarup I really feel for because some people still got a boat into their houses. They've got a levee around the house and it's saved the house, but all their paddocks are covered with water still. Around here, water drains away. It doesn't lay about like it does at Anjarup. feel sorry for the people on this side of Prang there when that levee let go. That's the last thing I'd want is water in my house. It'd be, be terrible.